Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Writer's Workshop. So, your teachers and I have had so much fun reading your work, and we discovered something. One of our friends was working on her teaching chapter book about dogs, and as she was writing her chapter title, she titled it, How to Walk a Dog. And as she wrote that, she stopped and thought, whoa, this chapter is titled, How To. That means that this chapter will have a how-to page, just like the how-to books that we wrote last year. So let me read you some example chapter titles from other students, and I want you to give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you think it could or could not be a how-to page for that chapter. So let's read those titles. Butterfly Colors. That be a how to page for that chapter? Butterfly colors. Probably not. Maybe it would be making a list of the butterfly colors, but not a how to page. Making a pizza. Hmm, would that require a how to page? Making a pizza. Yes, that could be how to, the steps of how to make a pizza. All right, what about shark pups? Hmm, probably not a how to page. Drawing an emoji. Yeah, there could be how-to for that steps to drawing an emoji. All right. So friends, my point isn't really that you have to have a how-to page in your book, although you do or maybe you could. What I want to teach you is so much bigger than that. Writers, today I want to teach you that whenever a writer goes to write something new, even if it's just one chapter, the writer is going to pause and think, what kind of writing am I doing? And then the writer makes sure that his or her writing follows those rules of that kind of writing. So once again, today, friends, I want to teach you that writers pause and they think, what are the rules? What kind of writing am I making? So that's what they ask themselves first is, what kind of writing am I making? Then they ask themselves, what are the rules of that kind of writing? So let's do an example together. If we were writing a chapter called, How to Pack for a Bike Picnic. What kind of writing would that be? That's right, it would be how-to writing. So we asked ourselves, what kind of writing is that? How-to writing, so we answered the first question. So now remember, now we need to ask ourselves, what are the rules of that kind of writing? So we're asking ourselves, what are the rules of how-to writing? Well, we learned last year in kindergarten, some of the rules of how-to writing include to tell the steps in order. It's not helpful when we tell those steps all out of order, then people can't follow it. So we need to tell the steps in order. We need to draw a picture for each of the steps to provide a visual for our readers. And we use lots of teaching labels in how to writing. So that can help guide us before we write that page on how to pack a lunch for a picnic or for a bike ride picnic. All right, but now what if we were going to write a chapter about the different kinds of bikes? Maybe the chapter title was Different Kinds of Bikes. Hmm, would we use how-to paper for that? Would we do how-to writing? I don't think so. I mean, we wanna tell them that there's tricycles and dirt bikes and motorbikes. What kind of writing would that be? I know that's a tricky one, but that would be list writing we would be making a list of all the different kinds of bikes. So we need to ask ourselves, what are the rules of list writing? So friends, you may know some rules of list writing is to write all of the things or all of the items and you just tell a little bit of information about one thing and then you move on to the next. So here's an example of what someone wrote here, the best moms and they put a list of all the things that they're brave, all of those things. All right, so friends, before you write your chapter, you still wanna plan the chapter across your fingers thinking about all that you might say in it. But remember, you also wanna ask yourself, what kind of writing am I making? And what are the rules of that kind of writing? If you are writing a how-to chapter, you can use this paper that has all of the steps on it. So that can help you organize writing the steps in order and drawing a picture with it. And if you're learning in person, your teacher will have that paper for you. And if you're online, they'll have that paper for you as well. Now, like I mentioned before, your story does not have to have how-to writing in it. 
You don't have to have a chapter for how-to writing, but if you do, we want to show you that you can use this paper to help tell that chapter. Now, if you have a chapter that is a list, if you have a list chapter, you can use this list writing paper. Once again, just like the how-to paper, we're not saying you have to have list writing as a chapter, but if it fits with your how-to chapter book, you can use that paper to help organize your thoughts. And friends, if you're writing some other kind of writing, you may find your own way to organize your paper to show your ideas in a way that makes sense. I mean, even think about when we're talking about seasons. Maybe you organize the pictures in the writing like a circle and show the arrows of how it's a repeating pattern. There's all different ways that writers of information books organize their thoughts and ideas on paper to help it make sense to the readers. All right, friends, it's your turn to go ahead and write your paper. And remember, I want to remind you to ask yourself, what kind of writing am I making? And what are the rules of that kind of writing as you go through your chapters? All right, your turn. Writers go write.